Hi, Dominica here from EasySewingForBeginners.com. Just like to share with you one of my favourite sewing machine foot attachments. It's called a uh, walking foot or an even feed foot. And although it looks like a weird crab-like creature, um, it's quite helpful, mainly because of the feed dogs at the top here. So how this foot works is when the needle moves up and down, the feed dogs will move as well and they help pull the top layer of fabric through at the same rate as the bottom layer of fabric. So this is great if using fabrics that are prone to um, slipping or um, fabrics that pucker. Um, and quilters use it a lot as well, uh, especially if you sewing through thick projects where you have a couple of layers of fabric and you're wadding or you're batting in the middle of as well. So it just helps everything move through the sewing machine at an even rate. So it's quite a, quite a helpful sewing foot to have. Okay, I'm going to take you over to the sewing machine now to show you how it's attached to the sewing machine. Okay, so now we're over at the sewing machine. Just before we start, I'd just like to show you my other walking foot that I have. This is uh, my walking foot for my Janome sewing machine. This is the one that I got with my DC4030 when I bought it. And this one here is a generic sewing machine uh, walking foot. And I bought this for my Singer sewing machine. So it's pretty much the same setup as my Janome. It has a snap on, has the snap on feet uh, and they, they pretty much they work in the same way and they do the same thing. Okay, it's just that I got one free with my sewing machine, so I've got a new one now. Um, the difference is the Janome one is uh, or is made of all metal, whereas the generic one has your plastic parts in it. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to remove the foot and the foot holder of the sewing machine. So remove the thumb screw. Okay. So what I do first is I make sure that this bar is going above um, my needle clamp screw. So this little screw that clamps your needle in. Okay, it needs to go above that bar or over the top of that bar. And then you've got your little claws here that need to go around the shaft there. So I'm going to screw the thumb screw back in by hand. Okay, and then just tighten it by hand. And once that's tight, I get my little screwdriver and then tighten it a little bit more. Okay, and now my sewing machine is ready to sew using my walking foot. And now I'm going to be making another video showing you the types of materials that you would use the walking foot for. So stay tuned for that one. If you enjoyed this video, then um, hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments, then leave them below as well. Thanks.